Hi, my name is Andrew and I'm one of the makers of Tadpole Tales. And welcome to Penny's Tiny Adventure Devlog, a cute 2D hand-drawn platformer about a dog in a mysterious dreamland. Last time we talked about player movement. And of course, once we have that done, naturally the next thing we want to add is... Hadouken! <laughs> it is kind of weird, or maybe it's just me, but I feel like almost every game has combat in them as a feature or as some form of norm, or that it's normal for a game to have combat, whether it's battles between you versus the game, or you versus other players. Now, of course, there are also plenty of games do not have combat, and they work just perfectly fine. So why would you want to add it then? Well, simply put, because it's fun. And also, Giacomo and I have been imagining the game with combat involved. And of course, I'm not gonna just give him a sword and be like, okay, go figure it out. Giacomo drew a bunch of brainstorming ideas for tools that the players could use or traverse and fight, they all seemed great and had a charm to it, but that gave me a question. What's the purpose? Like, why would you want to have a sword? Does Pini normally carry a sword? Is that that type of game that we want to go for? Does he have scissors? Why, why would he have those giant scissors? And what does that tell about the player and the game itself? Well, if you've watched the very first devlog, you know that the story revolves a giant rooster that lost his voice. And you're supposed to go out there and find these ingredients to make this cough syrup. To me, this sounds like helping someone gaining confidence. It sounds like standing up for each other. And so we've decided that for Pini, his main and probably only combat to be revolved around barking. Now, of course, visually, you can't really see anything, and so we need to think of a way to kind of display that. Barking could have a projectile, or it could be a melee attack. We've got some ideas, and each have pros and cons, and I could go on and on about what exactly could work and what couldn't, but we all know that the only way to find out is to prototype. So I did exactly that for the past few weeks. I've been streaming on Twitch and trying to get more consistent with it, and I want to thank everyone for joining and chatting with me. I had so much fun lately, and also many of you gave really good insights and suggestions on what I could do. So thank you so much. So barking, huh? Well, for now, we've been thinking that since barking revolves around sounds and noises, they probably can bounce around. I really like the intense and snappy controls from platformer games like Hollow Knight, as well as even Lethal League, which is... I guess it's a platformer game, but it's a fighting game. Well, it's not a platformer game, but the controls are really interesting. It was definitely great to examine it and try to apply it to our game. Oh! oh, no. oh! Shit! You got me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he was. <laughs> Here's what we got so far. So, Pini's barking is considered at the moment a melee attack. Pini has a stamina bar that gets recharged by being on the floor, without barking, of course. Pini can bark in succession until the stamina bar is depleted. If Pini successfully parries a bullet, Pini's bark will not consume stamina, encouraging Pini to parry more. Pini can bark in four directions up, down, left, and right. When Pini barks down, there is a slight jump that Pini can use to traverse as well as deal damage. All of this prototyping has helped me give me some ideas and perspective on what could work and what wouldn't work, and I think for now it is going quite alright. But of course, with just a player here, you truly cannot test combat. We need to add some enemies. Giacomo made this really adorable boar, as well as this tambourine bat, and since I've also been learning behavior designer, I wanted to play around with them. For the flying bat, I used A-star pathfinding and it was fairly easy to implement. They feel alright, they don't feel quite amazing. I'm guessing that I'll know better once we actually have some levels as well and we can place these enemies around and to see if we can make somewhat a meaningful path. 
One keynote that I want to make sure to say is I don't want Pini to have a bunch of different abilities, but I want one ability or few abilities that have multi-purposes. I want to add as many player choice as possible using only one ability. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to achieve that, but I guess we'll see. We are nowhere near the final version and I'd like to remain positive and think that it's going to be all right. Hey, if you watched this far, I really appreciate you. And since last time, we asked you what type of mustache does Pini's father have? And the majority of votes are B. And as you can see here, we went with that. Now this time, tell me, which one is better? A or B? Now in my life, I've been stressing over some legal stuff. I still feel like I've got no clue what I'm doing, but I just hope that what I'm doing is the correct way and the correct path. My girlfriend and I bought this new Lego piece from Mario 64 and I'm super excited to build it for Christmas. Leggy has been all right. Some leaves fell, but I guess because it's winter and it's normal. I keep forgetting watering it, but my girlfriend has been taking care of it. So thank God for that. Megumi, gosh, Megumi. Well, since last time he grew a lot, um, he's a lot more chunkier. <laughs> Apparently we spoiled him too much and he's becoming quite a rebel recently. We got a trainer and hopefully we'll be able to calm his temperament down. I don't know if that's the way you say it, but I think you get my point. During my free time, I've been playing Valorant. Found one. Last place. Oh. Close, close, very close. <laughs> And uh, also, again, Final Fantasy. I also got to play a bit of a um, special crap game. Balding. Oh, balding, oh shit, we are balding. Yeah, Dude, balding. we're balding. But yeah, that's me so far. I'm sorry that I'm, I think I'm cutting it really short. I wish I could have talked more about combat, but I feel like I'm not good enough yet to talk about it with confidence. I just want to make sure that once I'm more confident with my findings, I'll be able to share more knowledge or experience to you guys. And with that being said, thank you so much, and I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!